One bright, sunny morning, Oliver and Ava set off on an adventure. They had heard stories about a magical forest just outside their village. The forest was said to be full of wonders, talking animals, sparkling rivers, and even trees that could move. I can't wait to see if the stories are true, Ava said excitedly as they walked along the path. Me neither, Oliver replied, adjusting his backpack. I brought some snacks just in case we get hungry. The forest was even more beautiful than they imagined. The trees had golden leaves that shimmered in the sunlight, and the air smelled sweet like honey. As they ventured deeper, they heard something unusual, a faint whispering. Do you hear that? Ava asked, stopping in her tracks. Oliver nodded. It's coming from over there, he said, pointing to a large twisted tree with a door carved into its trunk. The two friends exchanged excited looks and approached the tree. The video that you have just watched was created using Minimax's text to video tool. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create amazing 3D videos using Minimax. I'm going to show you how you can create consistent characters across the scenes using my simplified guide. Make sure you follow through the entire tutorial so that you do not miss out on any step that might mess up your animation process. Let's get started. Start off, we are going to head over to ChatGPT and you're going to paste in the following prompt. Generate 5 adventure story ideas that kids love. The stories must have two characters, which must be a boy and a girl. ChatGPT has generated for us five story ideas that we can use for our video. I'm going to pick on the first story idea, which is the secret of the enchanted forest. While we are still on ChatGPT, I'm going to type in the following prompt. Write a short story on idea number one, which is the secret of the enchanted forest. ChatGPT has generated for us a story that we can use to generate our video. You can play around with the story that ChatGPT has given you Change a few things and make it a lot more interesting. Now that you have our story, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to analyze this particular story here and come up with a list of the characters that are in this story. Once it has generated the characters in the story, I'm going to ask it to generate prompts for those characters. And so, I'm going to type in the following prompt. I'm going to leave this prompt in the description box below. In this prompt, I have asked ChatGPT to analyze this story that it has generated for us. Once it has analyzed the story, I've asked it to identify the main characters in the story. And after it has done that, I've also asked it to come up with prompts for those main characters. Something else that I have told ChatGPT in this particular prompt is that once it has generated the prompts for the different characters, we'll be pasting in the different scenes and all it needs to do is to generate the prompts for the different scenes. And I'm going to hit enter. You can see that ChatGPT has generated for us detailed prompts for the main characters. So we have two main characters, Liva and Ava. Prompt has the age of the character, the facial features, hair, body, clothing, skin tone. And it has given us a summary of the prompt. It has also given us a detailed prompt for the second character. And with these prompts, I'm going to generate images. To generate the images for these two main characters, I'm going to use Leonardo AI. So I'm going to copy the entire prompt for the first character, and I'm going to head over to Leonardo AI, and I'm going to paste in the entire prompt. And my model is going to be a 3D animation style, Leonardo style. On my left, I'm going to select the aspect ratio for the image that I would want Leonardo to generate for me. I'm going to leave the aspect ratio at 3 to 4, and then I'm going to click on Generate. Leonardo AI has generated for me images that I can use for my video. We can preview the different images that have been generated for us before we download one of them. I'm going to download this particular one here. I'm going to click on the download icon, and my image has been downloaded. I will come back to chat GPT and I'm going to copy the next prompt for the next character. Then head over back to Leonardo and I'm going to paste in the prompt. Then click on generate. Leonardo has generated for me four different images for our second character. We can preview the different images before we download one of them. You can see that they look really good 
and I'm going to download this particular one here. I'm going to click on this download icon and my image has now been downloaded. Now that we have generated the images for our two main characters, we are going to head over back to ChatGPT and we are going to upload the images that we just generated. And I'm going to start with Oliver. I will drag the image and I'm going to drop it right onto ChatGPT. And down in this text box, I'm going to type in the following prompt. Write for me a prompt for this character. I want to generate it using an AI text to image generator. His name is Oliver. Add his name in the prompt and make sure to add facial de character style details, details about what he's wearing, his hair and everything else in the image. The reason for doing this is that we want to generate a prompt that we are going to use to generate images that are going to be consistent across our video. ChatGPT has given us a really detailed prompt for this main character here, that is Oliver. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second character. I'm going to drop the image of our second character. And again, I'm going to type in the following prompt. The same prompt as the first prompt, and I'm going to hit enter. And you can see that ChatGPT has generated for us another detailed prompt for the second character. While we are still on ChatGPT, we are going to give it further instructions on how it's supposed to generate for us the different prompts for the different scenes. I'm going to type in the following prompt. In any scene where Oliver's name appears, you will add these details to the prompt. And I'm going to copy the detailed prompt for Oliver, the one that ChatGPT has just generated for us. I will copy this prompt and the prompt should only include the description of the character. If ChatGPT has given you the description of the scene, like it has done for this particular one here, you will go ahead and you're going to ignore the prompt for the scene and you're going to copy the prompt for the character alone. So that is what I'm going to do and I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to hit enter. I will do the same thing for the second character which is the girl. So I will copy this first prompt here and I'm going to paste it on chat GPT then change the name Oliver to Ava. So in any scene where Ava's name appears, you will add these details in the prompt. And I'm going to copy the prompt for the girl. So this one here, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it on chat GPT, then hit enter. And you can see the response from chat GPT. So it says great. Now, whenever Ava is in the scene, those detailed characteristics will be added to the prompt. So now that we have given chat GPT all the instructions that we would want it to follow, we will come back to our story, the story that chat GPT had generated for us. I'm going to copy this story that has been generated for us by chat gpt i'm going to paste our story from chat gpt onto this google doc and this will make it very easy for us to analyze our story as we generate the different prompts that we're going to use to generate our video on your google doc you're going to copy the first sentence where it says one sunny afternoon oliver and ava decided to explore the woods behind their neighborhood so i'm going to copy this first sentence here and I'm going to head over back to ChatGPT and I'm going to paste in the first sentence of our story. ChatGPT is going to generate for us prompts for this first scene here. Paste it on ChatGPT and then hit enter. You can see that ChatGPT has followed our instructions and it has included the prompts for our two main characters, which is Ava together with Oliver. And this is going to be a prompt for our first scene. This is going to really help us when you generate consistent characters across the video. Now it's time to move to the next step which is generating our video. To do that you're going to use an AI tool called Minimax. Once you're on Minimax, you're going to click on this second icon here where it says create a video. And it's going to take you to a page like this one here where there are other generations from other creators. It takes a bit of some time for Minimax to generate. From here you're going to click on mine. And we will go back to chat GPT and we're going to copy the entire prompt for the scene. Head over back to your video generation, paste your prompt right inside this text box and ensure that you turn off this icon here. If you turn it on, then it means that the prompt that you have pasted in is going to be refined. I do not want that to happen. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to click on create. It's going to take a bit of time for this generation to complete. So let's give it some time. You can see the different generations that I have gotten for Minimax. We can preview some of them. You can see this one here. They look really good. Look at this one here. 
they are so so good these are the generations that i'm going to use to generate our video the next step is to generate a voiceover and for our voiceover i'm going to use 11 labs once you're on 11 labs you're going to click on text to speech and you will come over back to your google doc and we're going to copy the first sentence of our story we're going to come back to 11 labs and we're going to paste it right inside this text box and then click on this icon here and we're going to change the voice that will be narrating our story you can listen in to the different voices that are available on 11 labs a single rose can be my guard life isn't about finding yourself i'm going to pick on this voice here and i'm going to download this first voiceover We'll come back to my Google Doc, copy the next sentence, come over back to 11 labs, then paste in my story. Click on generate speech. They had heard stories about a magical forest just outside their village. And I'm going to download it. Come back to my Google Doc again. I'm going to copy the next tense. And I'm going to paste it right inside 11 labs. The forest was said to be full of wonders, talking animals, sparkling rivers and even trees that could move. And I'm going to download it. The final step is to edit our video. And we're going to use the online version of CapCut. Once you're on CapCut, you're going to click on Create New. And we are going to select a ratio of 16 to 9, which is what is suitable for a YouTube video. From here, we are going to upload our animations that we got from Minimax together with our voiceovers from 11 Labs. Click on Upload, Upload File, and I'm going to upload all our generation. Once everything has been uploaded, we're going to drag our different scenes to the timeline. So I'm going to start with the first scene. I'm going to drag the next scene, and I'm going to place it just beside the first scene. I'm going to bring in all the other remaining scenes until all the scenes are on my timeline. From here, I'm going to bring in the voiceovers, and I'm going to start with the first voiceover. And I'm going to place it just below the first scene. Bring in the next voiceover and I'm going to place it just next to the first voiceover. And as I do that, I'm going to adjust the length of the scene so that it aligns with the voiceover. I'm going to bring in the third voiceover and I'm going to adjust the length of my scene. We can listen in to our story before we make further adjustments. One bright sunny morning, Oliver and Ava set off on an adventure. They had heard stories about a magical forest just outside their village. The forest was said to be full of wonders, king animals, sparkling rivers, and even trees that could move. Our voiceover is longer than this third scene. And what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to duplicate this third scene right here. And I'm going to just drag it and drop it right after the third scene. I'm going to reduce the length of the duplicated scene. Then I'm going to bring in the fourth voiceover. And again, I'm going to duplicate this scene. I will drag it and I'm going to place it just after the fourth scene. And then reduce the length. Bring in the fifth one. And I'm going to bring in the sixth one. I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining voiceovers. I'm going to bring in some sound effects. Since it's talking about the forest, I'm going to bring in some sound effects of birds chirping. So I'm going to click on audio and then click on sound effects and I'm going to search for birds, birds chirping. Let's listen into the different sounds here. I think this one is perfect. I'm going to drag it and we're going to drop it just below the voiceovers. Next, I'm going to bring in some transitions. To do that, you're going to come over here and you're going to click on transitions. Let's preview this story. One bright sunny morning. Oliver and Ava set off on an adventure. They had heard stories about a magical forest just outside their village. The forest was said to be full of wonders. Talking animals, sparkling rivers, and even trees that could move. I can't wait to see if the stories are true, Ava said excitedly as they walked along the path. Oliver replied, adjusting his backpack. I brought some snacks. Just in case we get hungry. I'm going to reduce the volume of the sound effect. Click on the sound effect and we're going to click on basic. And we're going to reduce the volume to about negative 20 decibels. Let's listen in again. Inside their village, the forest was said to be full of wonders. 
talking animals, sparkling rivers, and even trees that could move. I can't wait to see if the stories are true, Ava said excitedly as they walked along the path. Oliver replied, adjusting his backpack. I brought some snacks, just in case we get hungry. The, the trees had golden leaves that shimmered in the sunlight, and the air smelled sweet, like honey. As they ventured deeper, they heard something unusual, a faint whispering. Do you hear that? Ava asked, stopping in her tracks. Oliver nodded. It's coming from over there, he said, pointing to a large, twisted tree with a door carved into its trunk. I'm going to add some music. You can go to your YouTube studio, then come down here and you're going to click on audio library. Listen into the different music available on, on your YouTube studio and you can download one of them. Once you're on CapCut, you can upload your music that you have just gotten from your YouTube studio. Then drag it and place it just below your sound effect. I'm going to reduce the volume. I'm going to reduce the volume of this music to about negative 25 decibel. Let's listen in. One bright sunny morning, Oliver and Ava set off on an adventure. Let's reduce the music further to about negative 35 decibels. Again, let's One listen. One bright sunny morning, Oliver and Ava set off on an adventure. I brought some snacks. Just in case we get hungry, the trees had golden leaves that shimmered in the sunlight, and the air smelled sweet, like honey. Once you're done and you feel that your story looks really good, you can download it, click on export, and then click on download. Video will be downloaded as an mp4 format. Click on export. If you'd want to learn more about animations and creating characters that actually talk, then check on this video here. Let's preview the final product of our animation. One bright sunny morning, Oliver and Ava set off on an adventure. They had heard stories about a magical forest just outside their village. I can't wait to see if the stories are true, Ava said excitedly as they walked along the path. Oliver replied, adjusting his backpack. I brought some snacks, just in case we get hungry. Thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless.